Hold up, hold up, hold up. Glenn Rivers leaving the Sixers. Are we firing him? Or is he walking away? This is Philly talk with Philly Mike. Talking Sixers in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, Eagles fly. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today, we got to talk about this report from Jake Fisher. The Sixers are headed to the playoffs with or without Doc. I'm confused. Let me stop calling him Doc. His name is Glenn Rivers. But before we get into this article, help your boy out and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and ding that notification bell so you know when these videos drop. Plus, we do the play-by-plays on this channel. Can't do them on Tuesday until the playoffs. So, even if he's not showing up for the playoffs, Philly Mike will be here live for every game, even if it's on Tuesday, just can't do today. Let's get into this article. Glenn Rivers has been mentioned as a potential candidate for the Lakers and the Jazz Jazz head coach in position per Jake Fisher. How? Ain't that legal tampering? Now, I'm not saying don't take them, Lakers or Jazz. By all means, you can have Mr. Blown Leads. Somebody put this in the comment section on Twitter. Follow your boy at Philly underscore Mike 25. The Glenn River cycle, blown lead, blown lead, blown lead, with the Magic, with the Clippers, with the Hawks. And we've seen it numerous times throughout this season. Now, here's my take on this whole situation. The Lakers are mentioned to be firing Frank Vogel. Okay, they got to start looking. Them articles come out, but I haven't heard Glenn's on a hot seat. I haven't heard he wants out. So how are we getting reports that the Lakers and the Jazz are interested in him? And is he interested in them? I can see him going to the Lakers because... It might be his last chance, and there's a bunch of old guys on there, and he's thinking maybe I can get with LeBron and, and revitalize my career. We could do this, that, and the third. I don't know. People want to play with LeBron or for LeBron. That's their, that's their business. Now, the Jazz is interesting because they have an executive named Danny Ainge who is familiar with Glenn Rivers. He was the executive and or CEO or something for the Celtics when they had Glenn Rivers running that team with KG, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, and Rondo. So Danny Ainge and Glenn Rivers are familiar. Maybe that's how he gets another chance after pretty much not doing nothing since that championship. Again, I'm confused. And I'm upset because although I believe in Dan Burke, Sam Cassell, right, the staff we have, how do the players feel? How are we going to feel if we go into a playoff series with them as the main guy? And is Glenn having one foot in, one foot out? My question is, are we about to fire him? Or is he about to leave us? And regardless who's making the move, why ain't this being held to after the season? We know some of the shortcomings from the Sixers are mainly due to him and the bench. It is what it is. At the end of the day, as long as we have Joel Embiid, though, we have a fighting chance in the playoffs, and I don't want none of this stuff occurring while we're talking about playoffs. Listen, Joel Embiid is healthy. Right there, you got to take a shot this year. I understand that we might let go of Tobias Harris. We might move on from Glenn Rivers. We could have a new coach. We can have some bench players or another superstar, and we can go for it next year. But what if Joel Embiid ain't healthy next year? Knock on fake wood. His health is a concern with his knee. He looked great this year, but all the falls, we had some scares. And it's a moot point. I don't care if you have Harden. I don't care if you have another star. If Joel, ain't, if Joel Embiid ain't healthy for the playoffs, the Sixers have no chance to win. Whether you have a different roster, a different coach, he is the heartbeat of the Philadelphia 76ers. So because he's healthy, because we got three to five games left, we got to at least attempt this year. We can't just be like, well, Glenn's the coach. We have no bench. 
It's a seven-game series. If the bench gets hot, they get hot. If Tobias gives us two games a series, Maxi gives us two games going off a series, Harden does something, I'm not saying he's going to be good or bad. But as long as you have the MVP and Joel Embiid, you have a shot. The East is tight. I like, a, I like how we match up against the Bucs. We proved it. We played a tough game. Joel did have some comments about Glenn, keeping him out to end the third, to start the fourth, really change the game. But if you look at how the Sixers played the Bucs throughout this season, this season, we match up good against them. We match up good against the Heat. We match up good against the Celtics. The East is tough. The East is close. I understand we've lost these games, but you can't tell me that the Bucs are seriously going to run through us in a seven-game series. I think that we match up close, and if we fall short, we fall short. Then we deal with the Glenn Rivers and the, you know, speculations. But this is just crazy. This is crazy. I know that a lot of us all want Glenn gone, but I want the smoothest ride for the playoffs. And if that is to really get Glenn to move on and go with a Dan Burke or a Sam Cassell, it is what it is. I've never seen it done. I've never seen a coach be fired or leave this late in a season and a team all skip to the finish line like they're, everything's perfect in that locker room. I don't know. All I'm saying is with Joel Embiid healthy, we have concerns. The bench, transition defense, rebounding, this man's rotations. But you got Joel Embiid, and that gives you a fighting chance. The East is not the strongest. It's consistent, but it's not the strongest. So I wanted to see how we fare, if we're going to do it with or without him. It doesn't matter. I just don't want the locker room to be fractioned. I don't want it to be them second-guessing themselves if this stuff is legit or not. I don't know. It's just I'm confused, very, very confused. I'm looking forward to the playoffs, good or bad. If it's bad, then we reassessed. Glenn might be gone. Tobias might be gone. Who knows what Harden is going to do? We'll reassess everything. But to get this far with Joel and B with Joel and B being healthy, I'm going to try to go for it right now. I'm going to go for it right now. It is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Again, I'm all for Glenn moving on. See ya. But this is bad timing. Finish your business. Win, lose, reassess. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I go by Philly Mike. This is the Philly Talk Podcast. Again, no live play-by-play today, but we're going to have Tuesdays open for the playoffs. Whether he's there or not, we out.